Welcome everybody, Juan here, your local realtor in South Coast, Florida. I'm making this quick video to talk a little bit about the buying process. Uh, maybe you or a family member or a friend has thought about purchasing their next home or their very first home. I can understand that can be very exciting. A lot of questions might come up. So this is just uh, some very basic steps, uh, you know, if you're very serious about purchasing uh, your next home within the next couple of months. My suggestion would be to speak with the lender. Uh, speaking with the lender first is going to shed a lot of light on what you can qualify for, uh, what terms, uh, you know, some estimates on interest rates and payments. That way you find out if it's a situation that really works for you and if you would like to, you know, move along with the process. Um, that's the very first step, speaking with the lender. It, they will give us, they'll provide us with a pre-qualification letter and that is very important once you start looking at homes. Uh, once you start looking at homes, if you find something you really like and you like to make an offer, we're definitely going to need that pre-qualification letter. A lot of buyer, a lot of sellers and agents will not take an offer without a pre-qualification letter. So that's the very first step. That would also lead lead us to the search process, the home search process. It's really going to help us narrow it down to price ranges. Um, we have a very large market right now, inventory of homes for sale. So this is going to help us narrow it down to price ranges. You can start taking a look at homes. My suggestion would be to look at, you know, pick a home that you really, really like, you know, your absolute most favorite home, uh, and, uh, take a look at two to three other homes. Take a, uh, you know, once you take a look at two, two, three other homes that you really like, you can start knocking them off one by one by making comparisons. And the reason I say this is because we're, you know, we're in a 30 day market right now. Homes are selling within 30, 30 days usually. So, you know, that home that you really like and you're looking at, there could also be a couple of other people looking at it too as well, ready to put in offers. So you want to move with diligence once you find something you really like. Uh, my suggestion also would be to drive around the neighborhood at different times of the day. Figure out if that's a neighborhood that you feel comfortable in and you would like to live in. Um, you know, just picture yourself a couple of years down the road. Depending on what you would like to do, if you're looking to live there for a few years or turn around and flip it, um, you know, just project yourself a couple of years out and make sure that that is something that you really, really want. Uh, other than that, you know, uh, once you're dealing with a professional like myself, uh, I would provide you with comps um, to tell you, you know, give you more information about what the homes I've sold for previously in that area or what they're selling for. Homes that in that same characteristic as that home that you really like. That way you can make a strong offer. Uh, you know, you don't want to make an offer to where you're overpaying for the house. But you also don't want to make an offer to where you're, you know, you're losing the deal. You want to find middle ground. Uh, make a strong offer with some very good terms, terms that protect you, something like, uh, you know, 10 to 15 day inspection period. That way you can get an inspector in there to inspect the whole house, make sure that everything is good and, and good work in order. And that way, if anything is found, it gives us time to negotiate some repairs. Or if you choose to walk away, if it's something too big that you don't want to deal with, then you can go ahead and walk away without a problem. Um, other than that, you know, you get your op, you get your offer accepted. Hopefully, if you're dealing with a strong agent that can help you negotiate a good, a good offer on a home, you get it accepted. And other than that, is pretty much just going through the loan process. Thirty to forty-five days usually. You'll be mainly dealing with your lender. The lender is going to require some paperwork, some information from you, and basically they'll just keep you updated in the loop with what's going on. And then you know you just set your closing date close on your new home you get you get to move in and you know start a new chapter in your life so that's basically you know the very basic steps if you would like to see something more you know more in detail or would like to know you know something more in more in detail i would love to answer any questions you guys might have feel free to drop a comment below shoot me a message or just contact me you know i'm here to add as much value as i can um that's basically it thank you guys for watching